In the year 2017, Cambridge released a specimen paper for the new A-level H2MM syllabus in Singapore. And in that paper, there was this one question that requires students to re-express this particular kind of trigonometric expression into the R formula form. R formula has already been learned in the secondary school, but I believe that there were still quite a few A-level students who didn't manage to recall how this was done. And the most likely reason that I can think of is because they have chosen to memorize it in their secondary school instead of also learning how this can be derived. Let's take a look at how R formula can be derived and it is actually a very, very simple process. First, we are going to let this be equal to this. So we'll be letting 3 sine theta plus 4 cosine theta be equal to R sine theta plus alpha. Then we will re-express this using trigonometric identity, which is sine theta cosine alpha plus cosine theta sine alpha. Expanding R, it will be R sine theta cosine alpha plus R cosine theta sine alpha. And then you will realize that now they share very, very similar left and right hand side because there's a sine theta here and there's a sine theta here, which means that R cosine alpha is equal to 3. And there's a cosine theta here and there's a cosine theta here, which means that R sine alpha is equal to 4. And this forms for me my first equation and I have my second equation and we are going to solve them simultaneously. I'm going to take equation number 2 square plus equation number 1 square, which will give us a R square sine square alpha plus R square cosine square alpha. And this is equal to 4 square plus 3 square. And if I were to factorize the R square, I'm going to be left with a R sine square alpha plus cosine square alpha. This is equal to 4 square plus 3 square. And this is equal to 1, which means that R square is going to be equal to 4 square plus 3 square, which is equal to 25. This tells me that R is equal to square root of 25. It is equal to 5. And if you were to take equation number 2, divide this by equation number 1, we will have a R sine alpha divided by R cosine alpha. It is equal to 4 over 3. Sine divided by cosine gives me tangent. R will disappear. So what I'm going to be left with here is going to be a tangent alpha is equal to 4 over 3. So alpha is equal to tangent inverse of 4 over 3. And I'm going to press this into my calculator, tangent inverse of 4 over 3. This gives me a 53.130 degrees. So now we have gotten our R formula form because R is equal to 5. So sine theta plus alpha is equal to 53.1 degrees.